What's up guys? So you might not know it or just don't care, but one of my most viewed video is how to speak with a French accent. And until recently I thought, why so? I mean, despite the fact that French accent is the sexiest accent in the world and that every single time we open our mouth, we start kissing everyone. I mean, we are the language of love. And I finally find why, after going back to all the comments, I saw that 99.9% .9 of the comments are about speaking like Lafayette from Hamilton. And the thing is, despite the fact that he does have a French accent, he doesn't have a full one. So using this old video to sound like Lafayette will not work. So I thought, why not doing another video that would be how to sound like Lafayette? So here we will just look at his most famous sentences in the different songs and just try to understand how we pronounce them and learn how to do that. So my pronunciations might not be perfect because I'm no imitator. I'm just someone who will try to understand how he's doing the accent and then explain to you how to do it. So how to sound like Lafayette, I hope you'll enjoy. So let's firstly try with Aaron Burr, sir, because <laughs> uh, that's the only one that I currently know. And in this song, his part is the Eh oui, oui, mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette, the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir, tell the king, casse-toi, who's the best? C'est moi! So there is a French accent in this sentence, but a really small one, which is actually pretty easy to get. I love the way he's doing it, but actually he's removing the hardest part of the French accent in this one. For example, he's removing the French R, he's saying bonsoir, instead of bonsoir. And he's also not changing the the into the. For example, he's saying the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set instead of saying the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. So what's left of French accent in the end? Well, first of all, there is one French R in the Revolutionary Set. It's a really small one and if you want to perfectly do it, well, I already made a video for it. How to perfectly pronounce the French R. Go for it. Boom, shameless self-promotion. And if you don't want to go watch the video, which I understand, although that's not really nice, well, basically you just need a pen. And don't be afraid to look ridiculous. So the best method is to take a pen, put it in your mouth, just under your tongue, like that. And then you just need to pronounce the word. Okay, you kinda look stupid, but that's the best way to have this guttural sound, this sound that comes from the gutter. <clears throat> Throat. Or, if you don't want to look that stupid, you can just gargle. Revolutionary. And that's it. But it's a bit harder to sing when you're just like... So the second point in this sentence is the fact that he's linking several words together. For example, he's doing Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. So instead of stopping before the T, he's using the T as the first letter of the OFF. In French, we tend to link all the words. So linking words that should not be linked normally will sound French automatically. And that's pretty much it for this one, because the other points are just French words. But you just need to mimic the way he's saying them and that's enough. So you just go with the Eh oui, oui, mon ami, je m'appelle Lafayette, the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set. I came from afar just to say bonsoir, tell the king, casse-toi, who's the best? C'est moi! Okay, so the second song, the one with the most lyrics for Lafayette in a row, and with a French accent, is My Shot. So his part in this song is the I dream of life without a monarchy, the unrest in France without a anarchy. Anarchy? How you say? How you say the anarchy? When I fight I make the other side panicky with my shot. So here he's doing exactly like with the first one, but he's adding three new components. The first one is the fact that he's dropping the H. He's not saying how you say, how you say, but how you say, how you say, and it immediately sounds more French because we don't pronounce H. Secondly, he's using this really French sound, which is the on. He could have just said France, but he's not saying France. He's not using the French R, so he's not saying France, but he's still using the on, saying France. And by using this on, it straight away sounds French because, well, first off, it's a French sound, but secondly, it adds something more classy in a way. So instead of saying France, say France. 
And finally, he's removing the emphasis that exists in the different words. For example, it's not without a monarchy or monarchy. I don't remember where the emphasis is. Sorry. But it's without a monarchy. It's like it's just if it was one word without any emphasis. Which perfectly works once again because French language doesn't work with emphasis. French language works with the fact that each syllable is equal to the other. And so in the end it gives the a dream of life without a monarchy. The unrest in France will live to anarchy. Anarchy? How you say? How you say the anarchy? When I fight I make the other side panicky with my shot. So the penultimate song where he's actually here, and I mean not in the chorus, is Yorktown. To be honest, in this song, he doesn't really use a French accent at all. I mean, at the really beginning, he's saying the in command where you belong. Where the R is a slight French R, but that's really the only thing. I mean, in this song, he's even removing what he did before. So instead of saying immigrants, He's saying immigrants. Instead of saying I go back to France, he's saying I go back to France. So yeah, this one is pretty much English and maybe remove a little emphasis once again, but that's it. And the final one, guns and ships. And here he's applying everything that you've learned throughout this video, but slightly less strong than in the other sentences. So he's kinda using the French R, he's definitely using the French O in France once again, and he tried to put all the syllables equal and removed as many emphases as possible. And although I love this song, I I think I will pass on this one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, here it is! That's gonna be terrible. I'm taking these holes by the rains, making red coats, red with blood stains. La Fayette! And I'm never gonna stop until I'm even dropping them and scattering remains out. La Fayette! Watching and gaging them, escaping them, or hating them. I'm La Fayette! I go to France for more fun. La Fayette! I come back with more guns and ships. And so the balance shifts. We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate the gifts. We can end this war at Yorktown, cut them off at sea. But for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. Hamilton! And that's pretty much it. I don't know <laughs> the other lyrics. And <laughs> that was awful. And that's it. How to sound like Lafayette from a French point of view. Et oui, oui, mon ami, je termine la vidéo. Et putain! And this is the end of how to sound like Lafayette. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on all my social medias because there, even though I don't sound like Lafayette, well, I do sound French most of the time. Which is kind of the same thing, right? You can also support me on Patreon, so I'll be able. And no matter what happens, I will see you in my next video. Have an amazing, wonderful day. Don't forget to smile and bye-bye.